Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Birdie coming at you fast with some old, old Paragon gameplay. But today we're going to be talking about the future of Paragon. Specifically, I'm talking about Core and Predecessor. You guys already know what's good in the hood when it comes to this channel. While you guys are here, make sure you hit a like button before you forget. And let's get right into the video. So I get a question thrown my way so much on stream. And this question is... Why don't the two companies just work together? And I know this has been answered like 17 million times at this point, but I have not made an official video explaining why. So some people are still confused of those who don't go to those other places where the question has already been answered. For example, Mongoose already answered it. Uh, if you are in the Discord channels for Omada Studios or Metabuff, they have answered this question as well in their Discord channels. But I'm going to throw out the answer here as well, just so as many people as possible can see, so they can stop asking the question, because it is becoming very redundant at this point, and quite a bit annoying. So, in order to save your guys' asses from looking like annoying assholes, I'm going to be your friend right now and explain step by step why they're not going to do it, why they will never join forces, and why it makes sense, and why it's a good thing. Okay, so let's start off by answering the question, why won't they do it? Well, the simple answer is, you can't do a group project with two leaders. Okay, because those two leaders are going to have completely separate ideas for what they want the project to look like. So one of those leaders will eventually have to succumb to the other leader or they will have to compromise. And so both of the initial ideas and propositions of those leaders falters. It, it, it changes. Okay, it worsens because they have to compromise for one another. So that right off the bat hinders the conversation and it'll take a long ass time to figure out which idea to go with and how to compromise and all that kind of stuff. Uh, especially at this point, where both projects are already on their way. Both projects have different philosophies. Both projects, both leaders have different ideas on how they want their project to turn out. Okay, It's just like in school, in the classroom. So that part makes sense. What a lot of people don't realize is that if they were to just combine, it's not like they just combine teams, they get more manpower, and they combine into one project, and then they just keep going. They would have to start all over. Because, like I said, when you have two leaders that combine and have to compromise to make one vision for the whole group then you can't just keep running with what you had you're gonna have to change everything you're gonna have to move stuff around you're gonna have to move stuff around logistically you're gonna have to move stuff around professionally speaking from a business aspect all the paperwork all, all the copyrights and stuff like that excuse me there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes that we uh, don't see and it's a lot and a lot of technical stuff so it's just going to be a hindrance on both teams to essentially combined because they're going to have to start over at a sense you're just going to have to knock the sand castle over because there's too many towers and then the front gate looks weird and then the moat isn't big enough you know what let's just take the whole damn sand castle down and build a new one from scratch that's essentially how it goes down when things like this happen and again it's just you might not be comfortable working with the other people all right, when, when you are your own boss, for example, Metabuff, they get to select who works with them and who doesn't, and they create those relationships and they get friendly and all that, and they just click and they just work. And then the people who aren't going to be good, they'll just fire them or whatever. Same goes with Omada Studios. And there's a very high chance that someone from Metabuff won't click with someone from Omada Studios if they were to combine, and that would create a lot of tension, and then it would fall apart anyways so again combining at this point uh at this stage rather in the development cycles of both games is just redundant and completely counterproductive as sergeant smokey likes to say he likes to use this example a lot and that is all right well then if it'll be better if both studios combine then why not as an example have all your favorite YouTubers combine into one channel. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Isn't that what you want? And the answer is, of course not. Imagine, instead of me, it was a channel with me, RGS Ace, Nabori, and Bloodthirsty Lord, all in one channel. One of those is not like the others. I'll give you a guess which one. And you won't want to be there. You know, you're not going to watch the Bloodthirsty Lord videos, for example, if you only came here to watch my videos on this one imaginary big super duper YouTube channel, right? 
So having separate YouTube channels is good because not everyone's going to like all four of those YouTubers. You might only like me and RGSA, so you might only like Bloodthirsty Lord and Nabori or whatever. There's no point in having a big super duper YouTube channel when we can all have our own channels and you just get to pick and play what you want. Uh, and, and when you want it. If you want an RGSS video today, okay, go find it. You want my video today, all right, go find it. Or wait for my upload, or whatever, right? So it, it increases your specificity, and it really hones in on what you want. And it's a good thing that there are two games being made, because not every single person agrees on what made Paragon great and what made Paragon bad. And again, that goes back to the philosophy behind both development teams. And... That goes for the players as well. Some people liked Legacy more. Some people liked Monolith more. Some people liked the new card system better. Some people liked the old card system better. So the fact that there are two Paragon-related projects that are going to be made gives you more of an option, gives you more of a choice to pick which one you truly like, to pick which one you really want to keep going in the future with, because chances are you might not have time to play both of them, or you will, and that's great. More games is better. More games is always better. And for those of you worrying about, well, is it going to splinter the population of Paragoners? I mean, it might. It for sure will. But you have to understand that these games aren't just for the people who used to play Paragon. These are for the people who used to play Paragon. And then everyone else who's going to come across this third-person MOBA being tired of Smite or whatever else is on the market at that time and be like, hey, I want to try something new. So both of these games can have communities that grow. It will be kind of awkward because both of them are using Paragon assets and they both look pretty similar. So that might be something funny, but can both survive on the market? Sure. I have opinions about if both can thrive on the market. That's a different discussion for a different video or a different time, but both can definitely survive on the market because they can get a large enough audience if marketed correctly and whatnot. So there really is no point in you know, for, for, for combining the two development studios into making one big game, especially this far along, there really is not a point for doing it. It makes no sense. I hope I kind of explained that a little bit further for people who just don't get it because it's just, I've been getting that ass so many times, dude. And it's just frustrating having to repeat. And I can't even imagine what it's like for Sergeant Smokey or, or Nick Opalus to have to keep repeating that over and over and over again to people it's just you know it's redundant at this point uh, i probably left out another a, a couple of other reasons uh so if i did leave anything out drop it down in the comment section below uh, or if you have a counter argument go ahead dude I, i'll throw it down in the comment section i love reading other people's opinions and comments and arguments and i'm totally down for that so if you really for some reason think that both of them combining at this point, even after listening to everything I said in this video, is still a good idea. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know why. And I would gladly, politely debate you down there. Because that's what it's all about, man. Freedom of speech, man. Exchange of thought. Law of the land. It's a beautiful law of the land. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, come subscribe. All that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you have a wonderful day. <gasps> Peace.